Hello everyone, you are welcome. This is Michael Okechuku Lovenger, the creator of Michael Lovenger Speaks and the father of Theomeniosis. There has to be an explanation for every matter under the sun. What it has taken is the grace of God, determination and open-mindedness. I welcome you to my YouTube channel that offers you seven different topics every week of the month. We have love and romance, born again identity, deliverance ministry, health factors, ministerial admonition, matrimonial admonition, the human heart cast, and then added to the channel is what I call theomeniosis, a subject I invented myself, which explains the origin, the beginning of God, and the presence of God in everything. There has to be an explanation for every matter under the sun. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. Please, I welcome you, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell because you will have new topic coming up every week of the month. Comment on the section and may God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we give you glory, we worship you, King of the Universe. We thank you, O Lord God Almighty, for another day. Thank you for another wonderful opportunity. Lord, I bless your name. Let your name be lifted on high now and forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. O Spirit of the Most High God, come and have your way. We have come once again in your presence. May you manifest your presence in our midst, O Lord. Bless the YouTube team. Bless this channel. Bless everyone. Let this channel be a blessing to the whole world. As many as the other will come in contact with this. O Lord God Almighty, let your name be highly lifted on high now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Once again, you are welcome. Love and Romance Season 18. Love and Romance Season 18. Okay, thank you and God bless you. All right, do you remember what we were talking about last time? I remember I was trying to make you understand the, the differences between the opposing sexes or opposite sexes, male and female, what they have, what they need. In order to be complete, their innermost desire, their craving, desire, craving, desire, things that they cannot live without. Even though while being single, well, they may suppress those desires, okay, but uh, when someone has come and activated the love or hmm, the sleeping dog has been, no, not dog. Dog? No, we don't need dog here. We need, let's make do with a lion or a cub. Good. Or young egglet. And you have to satisfy this with the peculiar food that they eat. Hmm. You know, cub and the egglet. They don't eat dead food. They don't eat. They are. Om, they are not omnivorous. They are carnivorous. And you have to eat them. Eat, uh, feed them carnivore. Like, um, you have to feed them uh, fresh meat. Fresh meat. Okay? So, love grows. First of all, it is planted like um, a seed. Okay? And then you have to nurture it. You have to fertilize it. You have to water it if the weather condition is adverse. <laughs> you have to water it. Allow it to grow. Do not allow the animal, the little forces that will destroy our vineyard because our vineyards uh, are tender. Don't allow them to come and eat up the little uh, blade of leaf that is springing off or coming out from the ground. No, do not allow the animal to trample on them or the herbivore to eat them off. Don't allow flow. Do not, oh God, you take care of the way you nurture your, your baby, your flower. Okay? Or I want you to imagine that you have been given um, a kind of kero, a chubby angel. Don't you know? With you know about them, the um, Greek um, legend, uh, like a, a cupid, 
Cupid is an angel, big chested, very chubby, very handsome, or beautiful, blue eyes, golden hair. Um, it seems to be helpless. Its desire is small, but it can fly. Okay, it can fly. It have that diaper, only the diaper, uh, barefooted. So it needs care. All right. It needs care. Only women will understand what I am trying to illustrate. Okay, because they know that little Kero needs care. That chubby Cupid needs care. Okay. Well, the Cupid usually comes with uh, an arrow. That's where we get the notion or the contents of a Cupid arrow. But you have been shot, okay, because you have fallen in love. The Cupid has shot his arrow and you have been hit, okay, <laughs> and you are bleeding, okay. So, but <laughs> you have been given the Cupid to take care of. So, I'm just using all this as an illustration to tell you the way you should accommodate the lover in your life and then begin to nurture them okay uh do not think that men are superhuman they don't need them um, nurturing behavior no men they are actually weak as weak as this um, entity that i am illustrating hmm. but what makes men weak is not what makes women weak women are weak because of their what menstrual cycle hmm. men are weak because hmm, they are looking for their mom what does that mean well we are talking about love and romance this is not marriage okay but when you have an understanding you know what i mean when i say that they are looking for their mother what did their mother what has your mother been doing for them before you came into their life well, the mother trained them carried them breastfed them okay okay also let's stop there all right all right all right, all right. today let's go into it um last time i remember that i told you we compared what you should know about each other how you should help each other to grow maybe today i should focus on the on them on the on the on the male or female help me choose somebody help me choose um maybe i should focus on them ah well first of all let's read something from the bible of uh, romans uh romans chapter 12 verse 10 Romans chapter 12 verse verse 10 um pardon me Romans chapter 12 verse 10 it says be kindly affectionate to one another with a brotherly love and honor giving preference to one another be kindly affectionate to one another or let me just say to each other be kindly affectionate but the place i want us to dwell on is uh, with brotherly love giving preference to one another but here i will put it with romantic love giving preference to each other with romantic love giving preference to each other okay good if i should take something from um first Corinthians chapter 7 from verse 3 downward it's talking about married people actually saying that um, the body of the wife does not belong to the wife anymore but to the husband and the body of the husband does not belong to the husband anymore but to the wife what does that mean the wife has authority over the husband the body of the husband that is this thing is talking about um sexual satisfaction sexual availability okay so but let me adopt something from this place you two have agreed to become like to come together okay now let me tell you um you have to compromise certain ground certain authority certain part of your life you no longer belong to yourself 100 percent anymore and then each other i'm talking to you the man and what i say now to the man i also say to the woman until i begin to differentiate we have read the scriptures you should be looking out for one another you should be giving preference to one another what does that mean you should not be thinking about your own satisfaction first of all the way you want things to be done okay no you should be more concerned about how the other person wants things to be done okay 
I want you to imagine in a, a romantic setting, maybe in a, at home, okay? Or just any romantic setting. Maybe you and your paramour have gone out on a date, okay, as an example, and then mm, you have preferences, okay? The girl, or let's talk, take them. Um, Sandra has preferences, and Dave also have preferences, okay? And now they want to eat together. They must eat together, okay? Now, uh, the waiter will come and they bring in the other leaf, that is the paper. Okay. They will not say, This is what I want us to eat because this is what I like. He will first of all ask Sandra, What would you like to eat? Then Sandra will say, I would like a, a sandwich, a dessert, um, apple juice. Okay, this is what I would like to take, alright? But what about you? They will say, I would like to have a barbecue and um, I like um, not apple juice, but um, yogurt. Okay, Sandra will say, fine, let's make do with what you want. But they will say, no. But I am okay with what you want to eat as long as you are satisfied. Sandra will say no, 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 no. You are the man, you are the man, you should lead, okay? Let's eat what you want to eat, okay? They will say no, you are the lady. I remember they say, ladies and gentlemen, so you should be. It is your, 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 your security, your comfort is my priority. Can you see it? They may go on jokingly argue in a loving way. No, let's have yours. No, let's have yours. No, let's... Okay, finally, they will decide to do what? They will decide to take a little portion from this person's uh, preference, a little portion, and then they will eat together. Hmm. I want you to turn it around in a place where people are overly selfish. Hmm. Maybe Sandra, in this case as well, is allergic to... Um, barbecue and then um, yogurt, hmm. and maybe they must eat together, or someone will starve. So, Dave will say, My favorite is a uh, yogurt and the uh, barbecue, so this is what we must eat. He will not ask the other person about her opinion, and then in frustration, maybe Sandra may seem to show body language that uh, she is not totally cool with the uh, order that uh, but they may not even pick up he doesn't even care about the other person's uh, opinion the other person's uh, preference so maybe at the end of the day in frustration and also in pretense not to cause trouble hmm. sometimes may say um i am not hungry i have stomach uh, problem or uh, i just lost my appetite or she may manage in order not to cause trouble now you know women they can accommodate a lot in order not to cause trouble she may pretend to go along but you can, can you see that the whole evening has been destroyed she will no longer be okay and then having experienced that any other suggestion of a uh, outdoor eating will be a kind of troublesome to her because of that singular experience so this is what the Bible is saying, that uh, you no longer belong to yourself. I'm not talking about your physical body, but your, your will, your preferences. You should think about, first of all, about the other person. Okay? With brotherly, no, with romantic love, giving preference to one another. Alright, so let's go into it. Let's see how far we can go today. Maybe I'm still trying to decide should we speak to the um, to the um, to the man first of all or should we speak to the to the female but generally speaking every every man and woman when they have somebody in their life that is in a romantic way they um always asking a question because maybe they have been in several uh, mended and broken romantic relationship or they have never been maybe this is the first time that they have heard several things about romantic relationships so there is one question that always comes to everybody that have been involved in a romantic uh, situation whether they have been heartbroken before or this happens to be their first time 
They are asking, mm, I hope that uh, this girl is uh, is not uh, a cheat. Um, I hope that this guy is not insensitive. I hope that uh, this person is not a jerk. I hope that this person, these people, they are not going to treat me negatively the way I hear that people, or oh, 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 blah, blah, blah. So they are a kind of skeptic. They are skeptic. No matter how cool, no matter how relaxed, they seem to be in your presence, but they are skeptic. They are beginning to try to learn something about you. So the question mark is already there. First impression matters a lot. First impression is not a lasting impression, but that is the best impression. I am telling you because the foundation, when you have, if you lay a solid foundation, hmm, that is when the building is, even if the building is destroyed, the foundation will still be there. But if you lay a faulty, a, fa a faulty foundation, no matter how magnificent the building may be, hmm, 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 the foundation cannot carry it. Through. So pay attention to the first uh, impression that you are making. And the first impression I want you to make now is that you should give preference to one another, no, to each other. Okay? In romantic love or with romantic love, give preference to each other all right i am not saying that you will totally ignore yourself in order to please the other person but let me tell you go back to the romantic setting the first instant i gave at the end of the day this will order a little and this will order a little and through love they will accommodate each other sandra because of love will begin to enjoy barbecue and then you got and they will because of love oh because it has been observed that uh, when couples live together they will begin to mirror or they'll begin to disappear into each other what does that mean you can see the husband on the face of the wife and you can see the wife on the face of the husband even their behavior okay miro i don't know what is the right uh, spiritual name i don't know i don't know maybe i have forgotten okay i'll tell you later okay so the, there is this inter interaction a, a kind of life energy is being changed let me tell you the the, the husband is decreasing on her on him or uh, uh, within uh, within himself and he is increasing inside the wife and the wife is decreasing within herself and is increasing inside the husband physically mentally and the behavior wise what am i trying to say when love is there and you people are giving preferences to each other all right a time will come you will begin to enjoy the same thing i am telling you a time will come you will begin to enjoy the same thing do you know the healing power of love the healing power of romantic law one of the things that uh, it will release some um, some feel good uh, hormones we have analyzed that uh, a few months ago that uh, can cure your cold even also can go because you feel good when you remember this person now it feels good that person gives you hope gives you a, a reason to be alive a reason to struggle very hard to make it to become somebody alive because you don't want to disappoint your loved one okay you have to be strong you have to make it alive you have to struggle you can do it two is better than one you have somebody that can stand behind you beside you uh, down the ocean sink swim fly climb the mount everest swim the Atlantic ocean you are not going to walk alone so this thing will boost your your adrenal okay and your adrenal rush will be high you 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 will believe that anything is possible with you okay I am talking about with romantic love, giving preferences to each other. So you can see that you will begin to enjoy the same thing. So I am not saying that you should totally ignore yourself. That's not what I'm saying. But if romantic love is there, you can see that then they will begin to volunteer. They will begin to volunteer. The person will be doing, will be busy as a Sandra will be very busy every day trying to please Dave. <laughs> and then Dave will secretly be busy working it out actively trying to please Sandra when they go out in the day let's take the favorite fruit of a Dave is pineapple okay and the favorite fruit of um, Sandra is an uh, ordinary apple okay or guava or purple let's take purple okay carica papaya all right now instead of Dave to go out and buy pineapple for himself Hmm. she will go out 
and with romantic love, giving preference to Sandra, what will he do? He will go out and buy Karika papaya, that is Popo, for Sandra. That one should be his first choice. Alright? He, he may also buy um, pineapple, but the first choice will be what? Karika papaya, that is Popo. And then Sandra, with romantic love, giving preference to Dave, will go out hmm, and buy what? And buy pineapple and not Popo. That pineapple will be her first choice. She may later in the day buy second choice, buy, hmm, buy what? Buy um, Karika papaya, that is Popo. Now, when they are coming out, when they are coming back in the evening, they will come. Each will be carrying a bag. Bag, a bag. Oh, hey, hey, hey. What have you got? Oh, I know, I know. I, maybe the person will say, I bought some fruit. Some fruit, okay. I know. Maybe the woman will think, Yeah, I know what you are going to buy. I know you love, um, you love, um, you love uh, pineapple. Okay, the Sandra is saying in her mind, I know you love pineapple. I know that is what you have bought. Mm, but well, that means you are going to enjoy the whole pineapple because that is exactly what I also bought for you. In her mind, she is saying, Okay, they will also say, What are you carrying? I am carrying fruit as well. Oh my god, fruit? Mm, I know, okay. Uh, that means um, I know your favorite fruit. He is saying in his mind, but that's exactly what I bought for you. That means you are going to hmm, eat all alone today. But now, coming to the dining table, each will bring the bag, place it on the table, opening the bag. Oh my god. Lo and behold, to their own amazement and the satisfaction, hmm, Dave is carrying what? Carrying Papa for who? For Sandra, not for herself, for himself. And then Sandra bringing, opening her bag, bringing her own fruit. She is carrying what? Pineapple for who? For Dave and not for herself. So can you see it? Can you see the preference? They will just exchange the thing and then can you see the love? Can you see the love? So this is the, the first impression I want you to make in your romantic journey. Okay? All this thing I've been saying there are in the Bible, but we just read only one place. Okay? Go to the Bible book of a Song of Solomon. Songs of Solomon. Or Song of Song. Go there and read about romance in that place. Okay? Even though in that place, talking about married people, there was a time when and um, marriage they got married actually okay fine in that place so give preference to one another this is what i want us to talk about so it goes in everything when each of, uh, remember that eh? <laughs> oh my god remember 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 let me take you let me tell you the secret of a changing people especially when romance romantic love is involved let me tell you let me tell you let me tell you you will reap whatever you sow. The Bible is truth. You will reap whatever you sow. How does that work? Number one, when you are thinking about somebody, that person is thinking about you. I am still trying to find out how do I know? Because sometimes I begin to think about somebody. But I may not know whether I am the first person that started thinking about that person. Or that person is the first person that started them thinking about me but one thing i know is that uh, hmm, when you're thinking about somebody the person will eventually begin to think about you but how do you tell whether you are the first person that started thinking about the person or the person is the first person that started thinking about you but, but one thing is sure uh, the thought will become unanimous okay the thought will become unanimous simultaneous uh, thought so when you are thinking about somebody, that person is thinking about you. When you are thinking about good thing concerning somebody, the person cannot resist. Before you know it, the person will begin to think about you in a negative way. But according to the particular thought you are thinking towards, you are sending. Should I use the word thinking? Let me use the more peculiar word, the more specific word. When you are sending, thought energy because when you are thinking you are sending thought energy the way i talk i am sending my word when i think i am sending my thoughts 
when I'm acting, I am releasing my energy to construct something physically. So when you are sending thought energy to somebody, that person will receive that thought energy and begin to talk. Oh, the homogeneity of thought and energy. Homogeneity of thought and energy. Thought is one. All of us, we are one. If you have a particular person in mind, and you are thinking about that person, let me tell you. <laughs> you don't know that uh, we, we, we are influencing one another. Oh my God. We are influencing one another. Did you know that with your thought, you can make somebody commit suicide? With your thought, you can make somebody fall in love with you? With thought, you can make somebody decide to break up with you? Oh my God. <laughs> so what am I trying to say in this regard? Hmm. <laughs> I'm still trying to teach you how to lay to, to make first a good impression and when you continue to do it that your first impression will be your lasting impression how do you do it I'm still talking about giving preference to one another when you go off to work think about each other but what you should think about when you keep yourself busy thinking about how to please your partner how to make your partner happy oh my god he or she cannot resist that energy that you are sending to them they will pick up on your thought energy based on thought homogeneity they will begin to ride that your frequency they will begin to hear your heartbeat they will begin to hear your internal conversation they will not hear it in their conscious mind hey, oh god this thing has been proven. I know practically by experience and by knowledge. This is a reality. Okay? Many people that are manipulative, they know how to have their way. They have used this uh, concept to make anybody at all, just anybody, anybody at all, to fall in love with them. Genuinely fall in love with them. And uh, but then the the because of them uh, universe, the way the universe is constructed, that you shall reap whatever you sow when they are maybe initially they may pretend to manipulate the person for the person to fall in love with them whereas they don't want to fall in love with that person but let me tell you how it works on the process <laughs> they will equally they will equally fall in love with that person and they will get married because if you harness this thought energy are right oh my god you can use it to do a lot of things, but I'm talking about romance now. So weird as they are trying to manipulate somebody romantically, trying to make that person fall in love, where they will stand out of the romantic boat, and then maybe the other person will be in the boat rocking along, or maybe rock onto the star or of the age, but they may not know. Whereas they are making the, uh, organizing the whole thing, Okay, they are also involved in the reaction because eventually they will begin to discover within themselves that they genuinely love this person. What does that mean? You will reap whatever you sow. Okay? Somebody is sending something to you. Good. You will eventually receive it. But that person also, having sent that thing, that thing will also go back to them because what you receive and process, you are giving out. So you cannot... Uh, genuinely make somebody fall in love with you without you falling in love with them it is not possible okay all right so this is what we are talking about lay a solid foundation make good first impression go out always meditate on how to please the other person husband and wife also they can benefit maybe you think let me digress a little maybe you think that uh, your husband is not romantic wife you say your husband is not romantic but this is what i wanted to do okay i'm talking to married people now. okay fine oh fine good 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 this is what you should do okay send your husband the thought energy visualize within yourself what you would love him to do to you or to do with you very simple okay, very simple don't make me talk about this in this in this uh, folder okay so Paramours, boyfriend, girlfriend, people that are engaged, betrothed to each other, go out, think about something good that you can do for 
each other and then the other person will also be very busy thinking of good thing he will do to you so at the end of the day you don't have to beg you don't have to cry you don't have to ask okay not all the time because subconsciously intuitively the person will pick up from the universe <laughs> from the frequencies that the two of you have been sharing it is like our radio station our tv the internet on our cell phone okay the ground base is there but what is happening there as long as we are connected to the base we are receiving we are receiving and we are sending because what we send to them is what they will send to us and we will process and send. it is garbage in garbage out i pray that the lord god will give you understanding into all things in the mighty name of jesus amen finally with romantic love give preference to each other you no longer belong to yourself 100 percent she no longer belongs to herself 100 percent share everything in common may god bless you all in the mighty name of jesus amen okay now you have that i pray that the lord god almighty will bless you all and give you the grace to utilize what you have heard subscribe to the channel please turn on the notification bell all right because you have something new coming up every day okay reach me through the comment section remember we have everything that you ever need you are never left wanting one again, identity, love and romance, deliverance ministry, health factors, ministry admonition, matrimonial admonition, the human heart cast, who, which explains the hidden truth about human being. And then, theomeniosis, the subject I invented myself, which is the origin and the presence of God in everything. There has to be an explanation. Nothing is hidden under the sun. May God bless you all. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Always remember that. I love you.